Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a real simple example of how to switch between two activities in an Android app. So you can see that I've created the app already and I'm going to demonstrate how it works. So the app is so simple, it all it has is one button and two screens. So if I click the button, you can see that page two comes up. And I don't even have a button to return to page two, so I'm going to rely on the back arrow. And now we're back to page one. So, how do you do this simple act? Well, let's take a look in the code here. So, first of all, you can see that on my page one, I have hello world, and I've added a button. I've called it uh, ID of page two. Let's go look in the code here behind it. So, we first of all have to create a variable for page two button. We have to find it in the uh, layout. And then here is the click listener. So, I'll set and click listener. Let's see, expand that. And so, the secret here is an intent. So an intent is used to intend to open up another service. In this case, it's a very specific service called page two. So we create a new intent, and then we have to provide a context. So remember the context is like your global application variable. So I'm using get application context here. I could use another one. I could use dot v or v dot get context, which stands for the button that was clicked, or I could use others, but those, those seem to work. And then I have to name the class. So page two is the class that I've made. So I'm just going to make one more page to show you how to get page two and its associated layout. All right, so let's say if we wanted to change this to page three. So I'm going to right click on my app and choose new, go down to activity, and I want to create an empty activity. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to call this activity as X, X, Y, Z. And you notice the uh, associated layout is automatically created. Activity X, Y, Z. So I should create two things. I'm going to create a class and an XML file. Go ahead and finish. Okay, well let uh, Gradle do its building and everything. And so it settles down and I have XYZ. And then in my resources folder and layouts, I should have a new uh, XYZ activity. So let's go and double click here. So it has nothing on it. Let's go ahead and put a text view. And I'm going to create the uh, text here and call it XYZ. Just so I can see it better, I'm going to change the font. Okay, now I would like it centered, so let's go ahead and Put the constraints on, and then we're going to change the intent so that we can get to this page. All right, so there is our simple XYZ page. Back to main activity. Instead of the intent going to page two, I'm going to put in the XYZ dot class. And then you can see start activity will go to this intent. So instead of calling it page two, I'm just going to call it I, the letter lowercase i. And then here I put lowercase i. So there's no magic in the name of the intent, but it does have to be called here in start activity. So let's restart the app and see if this works. It should go to page XYZ. Okay, so we're ready and we're ready to run. Now we're at the Hello World page. I click the button and I switch to the XYZ page. So right now there's no way to get to page two on my app. I'd have to build another button to do that. Now, this is called an explicit intent. So explicitly, I'm telling it the only page that you can go to in this case is XYZ. There's another class of intents called implicit intents. They are used to, to launch other applications. So for example, you want to launch the camera app or the maps or send a text or email or any other service that might be on your app or on your phone, I mean, you could use an implicit intent. And we'll get to those in other tutorials, but for right now, the goal is how to switch between two activities in your mobile app. And this is how you do it. 